Hi, I'm Tamisha and welcome and welcome back to my kitchen. So today it is all about chocolate covered strawberries. To me, there is nothing sweeter than giving and receiving chocolate dipped strawberries. I think that they are the perfect gift for anyone that you love, um, your special someone, your parents, your children, your friends, listen, and even yourself, okay? <laughs> so today I'm gonna show you how to dip and we're gonna do a little bit, a little bit of decorating um, your chocolate covered strawberries. So let's go ahead and jump right over to the counter and get started. Chocolate that we're gonna be using today is the Ghirardelli Melting Wafers. And I'm gonna be using the dark chocolate flavor and I'm also gonna be using the vanilla um, white melting wafers as well. So um, I've been dipping fruits and cookies and all kinds of treats <laughs> for um, a few years now and I always come back to the Ghirardelli because it just has the smoothest consistency and it is always um, super super easy to use. The instructions are very clear on the back and I just like the way it tastes. So anytime I see these I always grab them whenever I know I'm going to be dipping something because I just really enjoy using them. Now you don't have to use these. I just highly recommend them because it's always worked out for me and been the easiest but there's so many different um, chocolates that you can use to dip your to melt and dip your fruit in um, just find what works best for you but yeah so we're going to use this today I'm using the dark chocolate because I just think it pairs so well with strawberries like dark chocolate and strawberries together oh my gosh <laughs> it's so delicious and then I'm also just using the white because it just you know you can do a lot of nice little decorations with them. So um, we're gonna use these. And then of course, we have our strawberries that we're going to be dipping today. And so with your strawberries, you do want to make sure that they are clean first. So just give them a good um, rinse, clean them off, and just make sure that you dry them um, thoroughly. After you've cleaned and dried your strawberries, pop them in your refrigerator until you're ready to use them. And the reason being, it just allows the chocolate to harden um, a little bit easier. So that's a little tip for you. So we need to melt our chocolate before we start dipping it. And there are a couple of methods that you can use. Um, I'm gonna go over both of them with you. One of them that you can use is the double boiler method. And the way that you do the double boiler is there will be a base pot that you would put some water in and um, you would heat that and then on top of that pot, you would sit a bowl or another pot that is going to kind of sink down into the base pot without actually touching the water. And that is what you, the top pot is what you would put, or bowl is what you would put your, um, your chocolate in. And the double boiler method I think is great because um, it allows your chocolate to melt a bit slower and which um, helps you from having your chocolate um, burn or seize up on you. We're going to um, use a different method today, but if you're interested in the double boiler method, definitely search YouTube. There's tons and tons of videos on um, how to use the double boiler method to melt your chocolate, but we're actually gonna do ours in the microwave today. So I'm about to show you how to do that real quick. So I just wanna start off with about half of my pack. I'm not gonna dip a whole bunch of strawberries today. So what we're gonna do is just get those into a microwave safe bowl. And as you can see, this is what the melting wafers look like. So we're gonna get this into a microwave safe bowl. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to um, re either you can do two, one of two things. You can reduce the power on your microwave by 50% or you can pop these in on defrost. And then you're gonna let them go for 30 seconds, take them out, give them a good stir. If they still need a little bit more melting, pop them back in the microwave for um, an additional 15 second um, intervals and just keep stirring them until you get a nice smooth chocolate. I just took my chocolate out and um, we are just about completely melted. If you have um, the majority of your chocolate melted and you still see a couple of whole wafers, just continue to stir and the heat that's already in the bowl will melt the remaining chocolate wafers in here. So this is looking pretty good and smooth. You guys can see that. All right, so on my um, cutting board, I went ahead and laid out 
a couple of pieces of parchment paper just to make sure that, um, you know, the cleanup is a little bit easier. <laughs> and I want to point something out to you as well that might make dipping your chocolate strawberries a bit easier. So right here, I have um, a little glass right here because what I wanted to point out is this. If you're going to dip your chocolate, if you're going to dip your strawberries in your bowl, you'll have to turn them if you're going to do it in a bowl, you know, just to kind of get them completely coated. And um, sometimes then you won't be able to get an even coat on it. And it gets a little bit messy. But if you pour your chocolate into something a little bit deeper, then you can just take your strawberries and just dip down into that glass and pull it up a little bit cleaner. All right, so all of our wafers are melted. So I'm gonna go ahead and just pour this into my glass. And I believe this is an old um, <laughs> jelly jar. I might need to melt just a little bit more chocolate. Actually, yeah, I am gonna need to. Our chocolate is a nice, smooth consistency. When it pours like that, it is ready for dipping. So to dip our strawberries, we're just gonna take them. You can grab it by the stem. If it's easier for you to use like a toothpick or something and insert it, you can. But you can just grab it by the stem. And what we're gonna do is just dip it straight down into our chocolate. And then what you can do is you can just let it just drip. So let it drip to get some of the excess chocolate off. And if you wanna just kinda of wipe off the sides like that. And then we're just gonna lay it down onto our parchment paper. So just grab the stem go straight down into your chocolate. And this is why I say this is so much easier to use in a bowl because you could just go straight down. And just pour, pull it up, let any excess drip off, give a quick little wipe off the side that we're gonna lay flat and just set it right on down onto your paper. Now this can get a little bit messy, but it's okay. Have fun with it also, you know? I'll continue with just a few more and then we'll start moving on to decorating our dipped strawberries. And I wanted to point out also for the, um, the white wafers, you just do repeat the same exact process for it. So here is my favorite way to decorate, but it's also, I would say, probably the easiest, but it just looks the best to me. If you have a piping bag, you can use that and just put a couple of spoonfuls of chocolate in your piping bag, but you can also do this with the back of a spoon as well. And all you wanna do is just kinda get some lines. Go back and forth across your strawberry. So I use the same melting method for the vanilla wafers, the vanilla melting wafers, and now I'm going to repeat the same dipping process with the rest of the strawberries. Let's dip it, let the excess drip off and then just lightly rub it against the edge to get the remainder of it off. Also too, you wanna to make sure that your chocolate is not too hot. So um, if it's a little bit too hot, just let it cool for a few minutes and just keep stirring it. If you keep stirring it, it'll um, help it cool down a little bit quicker. So I want to show you a few decorating options. So I have some sprinkles. These are some really cute Valentine's Day sprinkles with the hearts. And I also have some crushed 
pistachio in the bowl, but you can also use crushed walnuts, crushed um, pecans would be good. Just make sure that they're crushed almost to a powdery consistency. And what you can do um, for a really cute decorating um, tip for your strawberries is after you've dipped them, before they harden all the way, um, not immediately after you dip because it's still a little bit too soft, but before they harden all the way, you want to take your strawberry and so we got our dipped strawberry and we're just going to go right into the bowl with the pistachios and just press it in and you can just take your hand and just kind of scoop scoop it over and just press it and you can even just roll it just a bit just to make sure that your strawberry is completely covered with the pistachios So our dip and decorated strawberries are done, guys. We just made gourmet strawberries from home. <laughs> but I wanted to get a close-up on them just so you can see how pretty they are. These are so perfect to give to anyone special to you, family members, loved ones, co-workers, your children. And like I said, give it to yourself. Make them for yourself, right? <laughs> but these would be so cute stored in one of those gift boxes. You know, you can put a nice bow on them um, and just make it extra special for someone. So I just wanted to close out the video by saying thank you so much for tuning in in my kitchen for another upload. I hope that you enjoyed it and I definitely hope that you make these strawberries um, for yourself. If anybody, make them for yourself, right? So until the next recipe, I will see you guys. Stay sweet and stay blessed. Bye. Thank you.